Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a Don Pablo coffee product. This is the Irish whiskey and vanilla infused coffee. So I've been curious about this one. Um, I don't think I've ever had Irish whiskey. So this will be interesting to smell this. Um, the vanilla, it should be prominent. You should be able to smell that pretty easy too. So let's check this out. Get this ready. <clears throat> Before I start this, because it's kind of it's kind of noisy. Let me tell you a little bit about a little bit about this this uh, this pack here. This is a variety pack. It has three different flavors in it. Um, there's 36 total in here. Um, this is kind of their seasonal. Uh, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever seen this, so I don't know if they offer this every every winter season or if it's a year-round offering so i'm not totally sure i mean there's a there's a christmas tree right there see that and it shows snow so i don't know if they would offer this in the winter time i mean in the summertime so um <clears throat> it does not say seasonal or limited time or anything like that so um it could be something that they offer only around you know the winter season but uh message message uh non pablo company and ask them you know and uh, and see if they do they might just sell them out and then stop you know for for the season but uh, so on the back it says if you want to know a little bit about this it said, this is a coffee like no other. It is not conventionally flavored coffee made with artificial chemical flavoring. It is not coffee aged in old barrels left to absorb woody remnants of whiskey aroma. Rather, our specialty grade coffee beans are soaked in real whiskey until the beans absorb every drop and become infused with its flavors. The beans are then dried in small batch roasted to perfection. The resulting taste is a perfect balance of coffee and the unique flavor profiles of these three traditional whiskeys. This is the Canadian whiskey and maple, the Irish whiskey and vanilla, and then the Kentucky bourbon. So, <clears throat> so there you go. Let's see. It says a little bit of something different on the top. Our specialty grade coffee is soaked in fine whiskey until the beans absorb every drop. It is dried, um, then roasted in small batches until natural sugars are caramelized just right. The result is a perfect balance of whiskey and coffee flavors without the alcohol. So that's something else. That's a non-alcohol, you know, product. Okay, let's kind of slide this over here. Um, so. Recently, I just did the Kentucky bourbon one. Um, it's very good. Um, so let's, uh, I got my creamers out here ready for later. So let's get this going. Mm. I've been <clears throat> reviewing Don Pablo's coffees for and I want to say three years, something like that. Um, Darren Burke is the um, the uh, owner of the company, and his wife Eliana. Um, they've been very, very nice people to to review for. Um, Darren's very giving um, with with his products for review, and. Um, he sent me many, many copies to review, and I've been able to enjoy them all this time. He sends, you know, not just just a little bit just to review. He sends bags of it, so I get to experience them for a while, you know, and enjoy them. Mm -hmm.
This is the loudest part. I'll tell you a story after the review. I try to remember to mention to my, my other channel, um, which is called Jungle Jerry's Treehouse. So uh, y'all check that out. Um, see if it's something that you'd be into. Uh, it's gonna be a non-review channel where uh, I'm gonna read some stories. It's gonna be kid-friendly, where I'm gonna read kid stories as well, adult stories. Um, stories that might scare kids or something you know what I mean so uh, so check it out look up Jungle Jerry's Treehouse you probably find it I don't think there's any other channels out there called that if you can't find it let me know and you, if you're interested I'll put the link in the description or something for you to look it up mm. wow that smells really good you get that vanilla a little bit. You get the you get some whiskey, and you get the coffee. Man, those 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 mesh really well really well together. I have been sick. Um, I like to make sure people know that you know um, because. My, my reviews haven't really slowed down because of it, but um, my voice is different. And uh, sometimes I'm coughing during my reviews. I try not to, but like I feel one coming on right now. <coughs> <coughs> Man, that smells good. Darren Burke has sent me lots of stuff. This hat, this shirt recently, this cup. The shirt, is, um, in a message, I, I told him if he has an extra shirt, I would like to get one of those, you know. And uh, he sent me an extra, extra large shirt. And uh, I only wear an extra large. I'm not, I'm not that fat yet. Uh, but, uh, um... It's it's still it, it's it's a little big, but it, it it fits good enough. It fits good enough. So, mm. it smells good. I mean, it's just like I like smelling it when it's brewing like that because you get it seems like the aroma is like really rolling out. But you get pretty much the same. You get a little bit of a sharp sweet aroma from the whiskey. Whiskey infusion. You get a little, a little vanilla, which adds from the sweetness. And then the coffee. It smells really good. All right, let's try it. It is, it is very different from the Kentucky bourbon one that I did the other night. Um, <clears throat> okay, the aromas are easy to detect things because the aromas can be, you know, they can be sweet taste is a whole different thing. And I smelled vanilla and I smelled like a, a whiskey kind of, a, of an aroma. Um, I don't taste vanilla in here. Vanilla is sweet, so I have trouble with that. So um, maybe somebody else can get vanilla out of a plain black coffee. Um, 
kudos to them, but I can't, I can't get it. Um, you do get kind of a, it's not really sweet. It's kind of, um, you get like the remnants of, of a, of a whiskey type thing. It's kind of hard to, to describe. I don't know if it's like the, um, um, I wanted to say like the grains of the, of the whiskey, uh, but I don't know if that's right. Because it's not astringent like a, like a vodka would be. Of course, whiskey is different from vodka, so it's a uh, whiskey would be more of a um, w woody b barrel aged, which they you know that said that they don't they don't let it set in barrels. But um, it is soaked in it until the beans, you know, soak, you know, soak up every drop of it. Um, <clears throat> and then, it, and then it's soaked and it's it dried, let's see, and then roasted in small batches until natural sugars are caramelized just right. Okay. So, um, The aftertaste kind of has like a, like a little bit more of a of a of a whiskey type of a taste to it. Just a little bit, and it's a, it's a good medium roast. It's good flavored. Um, it's a good it's a good quality coffee. Um, now I do. If you if you if you've all been watching my reviews long enough and you do watch my coffee reviews, then you know that I add creamers to my coffees. Um, so what I do is, I add a level teaspoon of regular creamer first. Many people do this. They add different things, which were milk, um, heavy cream, these kind of creamers, um, half and half. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> um, so what they're trying to do is they, they don't like it too bitter. Um, they don't like that roasty kind of effect it has on your palate. Um, so they add this to kind of curve off that bitterness. But yet, it leaves behind the, you know, the great taste of the coffee. So, and that's what it does. It leaves kind of a lactose kind of taste. Um, and it curves the bitterness a little bit. Um, some people add more than what I, what I do. But I, I'm not wanting to go crazy with these creamers to the point where I can't taste the coffee flavor. Because I want to taste that. Okay, so the other night when I did this, with that with the other one, with the uh, the Kentucky Bourbon, um, I added a little bit of this this uh, chocolate caramel. It's a great value chocolate caramel creamer, cold liquid creamer, and for that, it kind of made. It made the, the, the bourbon kind of show through a little bit because bourbon's sweet. Um, so it was like, I think I, I uh, compared it to uh, like a, a coffee mathematics or something like that. But because uh, um, it was like coffee infused or whiskey infused coffee plus a sweetness equals equals the the bourbon or the whiskey or the maybe the vanilla you know it, it brings that out in it um it's kind of weird i mean it's what ha it, it's, it's what happens for me and i don't know if other people experience that same thing or not maybe it's a mental thing i don't know but so you you don't want to add too much of this because if you do 
then you've you've messed it up because then you won't taste the coffee you'll just have hot chocolate or yeah you'll have hot chocolate pretty much <clears throat> chocolate caramel hot chocolate now let's see there it is it's just like I added whiskey to this it's weird it's weird It wasn't enough to get chocolate out of it. It wasn't enough to get caramel out of it. It's just enough to add a sweetness to it um, to mesh with the infusion of the coffee. So yeah, it's it's this is this is a really good one too. Yeah, so they, they may not. They may not offer this set, but they may offer them um, just a regular, you know, offering of these in a different kind of box, not not seasonal looking like this, with the Christmas tree on there and the snow and stuff. So you may still be able to get this. So go to their site, go to the website, Look at all the kinds they have. Um, go to their go to go to YouTube and put in Don Pablo, and you'll see some videos of, of how they go about their their uh, uh, picking the beans, um, their collaboration with uh, uh, coffee roasters and and uh, uh, coffee uh, bean farmers and. Uh, <coughs> um, there's other videos. There's some fun videos on there too that are comical. Um, so check out those. Uh, go to their website. Like I said, see all the varieties of stuff they have. Um, I think you'll you'll be you know happy to to order some stuff from them. They're great people. Very giving. Um, so, oh, the story. Okay. Okay, so um, it's probably, it may have been around the time that I started uh, 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 reviewing coffees, okay? So I think I had a couple companies send me some coffee, some grounded bagged coffee. Um, if they asked me if I wanted it in whole bean or ground, I would say ground because I didn't have, I don't have, you know, something to grind up beans. So I would tell them ground coffee. Okay, so when I contacted Don Pablo Company, um, I don't think he asked. I don't think they asked. You know, what, you know, what do you prefer, ground or whole bean? I just got this box showed up, and uh, I'm starting to look through it, and I was really tripping out. You're like, look at all this coffee! Oh my gosh! You know, there's there's a bunch in here. And my wife says, I think she was she was the first to notice it. Um, those that's whole bean. I said, Oh my God, that's it is whole bean. Oh man. Okay, well, let's look at coffee grinders. I guess you know. So we we looked at coffee grinders, and um, um found some cheap ones, you know, just to do, just to do these reviews. Cause I didn't know if I was going to be constantly ordering from other coffee companies and getting the whole bean enough to, you know, get a real, real nice one. And I, in my budget, I, I couldn't afford to buy a real, real nice coffee grinder for, for a hobby that I don't make any money on. So I couldn't really invest in something like that. Um, so we found found one that was real, you know, a real small one, and uh, it did it did the trick. You know, it it was simple, it was cheap, it had I think it only had one setting on it. So um, we were use we were going to use that. I think I don't remember if we got to use it on some of Don Pablo's coffee or not, um, but. Not too long after the unboxing and discovering that it was whole bean, um, 
the UPS or somebody dropped off a, a box at the door and I go to it, I go to the box and I pick it up and it's kind of heavy and I'm looking, looking at it and I'm like, what is this? So I go, and I actually, I think, I think it said it on the, on the, on the box. I think it said like OXO, I think it said OXO coffee grinder or something like that. I'm like, wait a minute, you got to be kidding me. I was, I was tripping out. I was like, so I unboxed it and, uh, I, th I, don't, I don't know if I made an unboxing of that or not because I didn't know what, what it was for sure, I think. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, um, it was a nice OXO coffee grinder. I think they go for like $75 or something like that. And I, I contacted him and I, I, I told him that... Uh, you know, I asked him, you must have sent, you must have sent this to me. And I thanked him for, for sending it. It was very nice. And I think he said something like, uh, well, we didn't want you grinding, grinding our coffee in that cheap little grinder or something like that. I can't remember exactly, uh, but it was something like that. So, um, wanted it done right because their, their coffee, there's different, there's different grind, you know, different uh, uh, texture uh, that some of the coffees need to be grinded at. Um, and, and it's, you know, they're like uh, certain grinds that make it more enjoyable for you to experience the coffees. And they do better at certain like fine powder, not yet, or fine sand, not yet powder or something like that for like some of the uh, the like the Kentucky bourbon one um in whole bean I think it's like that if I remember correctly but um not yet espresso I think it's not not so fine that it's espresso type but uh so it's it's fancy you know it's it's bigger it's heavy duty and uh um it has like 10 to 12 settings on there for the grinds um, so anyway, that was, it was very kind of, of them to send that and I've been keeping it, keeping it, um, anonymous all this time because I didn't know for sure if he really wanted me to say that, that, that they sent me that, but I don't think they, they care because I'm, I feel I'm doing them a favor too by, you know, showing everybody, you know, what they have to offer and uh, and I appreciate it so much that I want them I want people to know how kind they are so so there you go this is a really nice coffee a very nice evening coffee um, very flavorful all of the coffees are um, so check them out you got a coffee grinder order some whole bean check it out yourself a lot of those you know grinding it yourself makes you know makes it so that you are definitely going to get fresh so you might like it that way so try that okay well i'm going to end it here i thank you all for watching i appreciate it i know it's a long video i apologize about that i hope you enjoyed it anyway and thank you to Darren and Eliana for sending me these. And uh, we will see you on the next one.